coming to the company setup so whenever a whenever a organization purchases salesforce org the first thing we need to set up in that that particular org is uh, information about that particular company so so in salesforce uh, we have following terms which we will we'll walk through and we will see in the salesforce also so on the company information page uh, we can show all the important information related to a company like the name of the company the, the contact person for that particular company in salesforce org the licenses the edition of that okay that thing we can we can see into company information page the second thing we have fiscal year so fiscal year means financial calendar year for a company so in salesforce uh, there are two type of uh, fiscal years are available which is uh, first is standard fiscal year second is uh, custom fiscal year so and uh, in custom fiscal year we can set the dates and time as per our need like dates start date and end as per as per the company's customized required requirements okay and this financial calendar year is used in the reports forecasting apart from it uh, in the company setup we can set the business hours also so once we set up the calendar year then we need to set up the business hours like what what are the hours in that company um, works okay and this business hour impact the working hour of support team so we'll learn about support team into service uh, uh, service applications and while setting up the business hours if the organization doesn't work on a particular day then we can put a blank hours for it okay once business hour are set up now we need to define the holidays for a particular company okay so holiday define a date and time on which a business hour suspended okay which means on the on the holiday date and time the business will not be working so business hours will not be in impact for that particular date and time <clears throat> we can set a recurring holidays also okay and if we set a recurring holiday for each month let's suppose that on that particular date uh, doesn't occur in that month then holiday will not be treated so let's suppose we say like on the on the every 31st every month of 31st of each month there will be holiday in the company so if the, in any month there is 31st is not a date then there will not be any holidays created okay holiday can be assigned with the business hours so once we create a holiday we can assign it with the business hours also and we can associate total 1000 holiday with each set of business hours so it means in the company we can define the uh, different different business hours also okay now let's see them in excel into salesforce like how this works into the salesforce and how we can set up these into the salesforce okay <clears throat> So let's go to the Salesforce screen. Okay. So the first thing we'll see what information we can see into the company information. So we need to go into the setup. Here we will search for uh, company information. Okay. On the company information. We can see the organization name the primary contact okay the address of the company financial uh, year starts in the january we can set the default time zone okay the currency local we can see uh, how much data has been used into the salesforce okay the file space we can see okay the company's edition we can see organization edition uh, this organization id so it is uh, highly required when we raise a support case with the salesforce uh, support team <clears throat> instance id we, like instance name we can see here so it is required when some some incidents occur at the salesforce site so when we go on the trust.salesforce.com we can capture like uh, what happened to our instance okay uh, below to it we can see the available licenses also so let's uh, like uh, what kind of licenses and uh, the number of total licenses company has purchased how many we have used how many are remaining okay so these are the basic details which we can see on 
company information of course we can edit this in, in there are some information which we can edit not the whole information like uh, organization name we can change the primary contact we can change phone and page we can add if you want to update the address of the company we can update it here the default locals local we can change here okay language we can change the time zone uh, we can set from here okay so this is these are the information which we can see and edit on the company information <clears throat> now coming to the next thing so it was uh, financial year okay Okay, so as, as I described, like uh, there are two types of financial areas are available. One is uh, standard fiscal year and second is custom fiscal year. So if we set the custom fiscal year, okay, if we enable it, then we cannot uh, disable it again. Okay, so like before enabling the custom fiscal year, always uh, like first finalize it like it's gonna help you or not okay if it, it, it needs it, it's coming under your requirement then only just enable it okay and in a standard fiscal year we can <clears throat> we can set this uh like uh the start the, uh, the start month of uh, fiscal year okay now the next was uh business hours So in business hours, like um, we can we can create the multiple business hours, and um, one business hour will be marked as in a default hour. So let me create a new business hour, okay, and uh, let me mention it like okay, and the time zone I will set is. Okay. So let's suppose my company works in India also, and on Monday, um, Monday to Tuesday, Monday to Friday, they works for nine to five. Okay, and Sunday and Saturday is holiday, so we left it blank. Okay. Now I'm saving it. Okay. The next topic was uh, holidays. Okay, so I'm coming here and setting up the holiday. So let's suppose we have holiday for Diwali. Diwali. Let's say um, New Year Eve. Okay, so on thirty. First December, you will have a holiday, okay, and it will be holiday for whole day. And if we set a recurring holiday, then we could we can describe like on every year, okay, there will be a holiday. So it's it's like a never ending. So I'm saving it as a recurring holiday, okay. Now, once holiday is set up, we need to add the business hour to that particular holiday, like for which business hour it's applicable. Okay. Okay. So we like when we were adding it here, so we are not able to see the India here. So what happened? Like when we created a business hour, so. We forgot to activate, activate it. So I'm going going back to business hour, and let's activate it. Okay, I'm going on the India. I will edit it, and I will click on this checkbox also. And to add the holidays, we can add holidays from here also. Okay, so I could see like New Year's is there, and I save it. Okay, so to uh, to uh, attach a holiday with the business hour, we have two options. From the business hours page, also we can add, and uh, from holiday page, also we can add. 
So hold it as you were able to see here. We can add it remove. So if I added a added a business R holiday with the business R from the business R page, then also it's visible here. Okay. So this was about uh, our little bit the initial setup of our company information. Okay.